Tonight, tales of pain and suffering along the U.S.-Mexico border. She said the journey was particularly hard for her seven-year-old daughter, who ended up with an infection. From the border to the Big Apple now, where earlier this week, New York City Mayor Eric Adams bust migrants out of the city to upstate New York. But we are monitoring a ripple effect tonight, a group representing home... Tonight, new reporting from the southern border where the number of migrants crossing has plummeted. But the rush of people last week is now straining cities across the U.S. Migrants sleeping on the streets in El Paso. U.S. auto safety regulators are pumping the brakes tonight on potentially dangerous airbag inflators. In a new letter, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA, demanded manufacturer are... Much. And for more on this topic, we're bringing in New York Assemblyman Brian Marr, also a volunteer spokesperson with YIT. That's the nonprofit that is helping those displaced veterans. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Trey Gowdy and it's Sunday night in America. The House Oversight Committee is out with information claiming multiple members of the Biden family received money, either directly... Kate, we're still waiting for official results, but Turkish state media says neither President Erdogan nor his challenger, Kemal Kilic Darolu, has won more than 50% of the vote, and so it looks like this election... ...committee president to appoint... कर्नाटक में नए मुख्यमंत्री को लेकर रविवार को बेंगलुरु में हुई कांग्रेस विधायक दल की बैठक बैठक में नए मुख्यमंत्री and there's a lot of great history here. In fact, this room that we're standing in, Winston Churchill made many of his famous speeches. And just into our newsroom in the last 15 minutes or so, County Supervisor Jim Desmond released a statement saying that local Border Patrol officials arrested someone who was on the terror watch list. Yes.